Stratica, tovarishi. And uh, before we begin, I'd just like to let you guys know that uh, I do, in fact, want to set the world on fire. But additionally, I'd like to set uh, flame in your heart. Uh, without further ado, let me welcome you to our Let's Play of Fallout 4. And uh, I'm very excited to begin this game. Uh, it's been a long time since uh, the Let's Play of New Vegas. As uh, <laughs> my fedora chap went about the Fallout Wasteland, dispensing justice with his sledgehammer of mayhem. Uh, but it's been, yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since then. And uh, I'm sure that the Boston Fallout or the Boston Wasteland will hopefully be equally as engaging and as entertaining as the New Vegas Wasteland or the Mojave Wasteland. Whatever wasteland you want to call it. Uh, lots of wastelands to choose from. But uh, with that being said, let's jump right in. There are in fact more wastelands than you can shake a stick at. And that's a phrase I never really understood. Uh, couldn't you theor theoretically shake a stick at any infinite number of things? I mean, all you got to do is take your hand with a stick in it and, and, and shake it. You know, there's no limit to the amount of things you could do that with. You know, you don't even have to be in the same proximity to shake your stick at it. You know, I can shake my stick at something. And I don't need to be right beside it. So the phrase ne never made any sense to me. For some reason, it says no quick save. War. Found in the top. That's a little weird. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but it's a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, son because if my time in the army taught me one thing it's that war war never changes God, why does it keep saying that <clears throat> no quick save found. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. You know what's weird is that every time I get up and get ready, 
uh, every day, uh, I look in the mirror and I say to myself, uh, war. War never changes. Is, isn't that weird? Isn't that a weird coincidence? Anyway. Um, so, I remember uh, way, way back. I uh, said I would judge any character creation tool by how accurately I could make a copy of Joseph Stalin. So that is exactly uh, what I am going to do. So, ooh, okay. Definitely uh, changed things up here. He's a bit, you know, fatter. His face was a bit rounder. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. As handsome as the day we met. <laughs> I like my wife is just sitting there giving me encouragement. Whoa, okay. I can make him look like a total freegazoid. I disagree. Sean totally has your eyes. Okay, now his eyes just look weird no matter what I do. All right, uh, I'm going to take some time and uh, craft a beautiful, beautiful sculpture, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright, so uh, I think all in all that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm happy with that. Uh, except... There he is. Okay, now we can finally get rid of that irritating quick save thing. I'm glad that a baby is happy to be served by what appears to be a flying metal monstrosity. where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. <laughs> oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance 
into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miners, your robot. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> a total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, uh, okay. So I've been doing a little reading because uh, I'm, I'm recording this uh, a couple days after the games come out, unfortunately. Uh, so I've been doing a, a little bit of reading, seeing what people are saying about uh, the game initially, and they say luck is a very good skill to have. Uh, so I'm definitely going to boost that up. I like having everything at at least four if I can. Ah, oh, shit. What can I? I'm mean, gonna cut down on perception a little bit. Uh, all these other ones are important. Uh, I think I love charisma, though. I love having good charisma in this game. I think it's a very underrated skill. Oh, I need a name. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Hooray! Thanks again. Hey, Joe's down. Peace of mind. It's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. All right, it was just uh, just took a second to make sure the audio levels are good. I thought the gameplay, god damn it, Cotsworth, right in my fucking face. I thought the gameplay was a little low, so I turned that up a bit. How are the two most important men in my life? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You can come and see this! We're never gonna go see the park. What's wrong? So the reason why this quick save not found keeps showing up is because uh, F9, my recording button, is also the yes, quick load button, which I forgot. Here's my quick save. There we go. We do, oh, no. we, do have, we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Sad day for us. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents oh of Sanctuary Hills. Oh, this way. Hope the baby's behind. Oh, there, there they are. I'm just leading the way. I'll help you. Excuse me. Uh, nah. I decided not to. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck now. 
Follow me. Got Come on. Assault. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! I still think that that would kill us. Like, I don't think that just, like, going down a little bit, we'd be able to save ourselves from the shock wave. Wouldn't it just, like, go down the hole, too? And tear apart our bodies mercilessly. This feels very uh, Half-Life esque to me. Step over to the table, take a seat. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. This You'll way, need your suits before right we can there. take uh, the survey. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in this cap. How long do you think we'll be what down here? Sir? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through with first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. I probably would have asked more questions uh, about the whole giant freezing tube. I've always wondered like how possible this is. I remember I took a first aid course uh, last year as uh, part of the job I had at the time and I was talking to the first aid instructor, instructor, and she told me it's it's theoretically possible. Like they found people who have been dead. I think the largest case, someone who has died of hypothermia, or the longest case, not the largest, someone had died of hypothermia, uh, for six hours, and they were able to revive him uh, because he was in such a cold state that uh, it, you know, didn't damage uh, his internal organs enough to the point where he was. Uh, Incapable of revival. Oh no, not a mysterious figure. Oh, I can move. No. Man, I hate it when mysterious figures just come in and murder my wife and steal my baby.
But, you know, one of the things that uh, personality-wise I think has changed in me since uh, I've gotten married <laughs> is that stuff like that, you know, uh, I used to be, like, total emotionless, would just whoosh, go over me and uh, wouldn't even care. And in this circumstance, I don't feel any particular emotion uh, at all, really. But... You know, now it's easier for me to put myself in this situation, the idea that my wife might be kidnapped and murdered and then my son stolen, on, even though I don't have a son yet, but still. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a very uh, terrifying thought. Talk. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. Oh, it's inaccessible. Also routine this thing. Staff allowed to deviate from assigned activity through coordination. Wow, authorizes lethal force. Hmm. They just abandoned us, it looks like. Nothing to take him on. Oh, security baton. Giant roaches. What the hell? I want to do a little more exploring. See if there's anything worthwhile to use. Play tape. What the hell? Oh my god, that's crazy. Is it like Donkey Kong? Holy shit, it's like Donkey Kong. Except, uh, instead of Donkey Kong, the enemy is the Red Menace. What? I totally dodged that. Nonsense. Alright, I want to get her. Can I go down? Am I invincible? Yes, I am. No! Oh, yes, I made it. Oh, man. Oh, he changes direction on them. No! 
jump. Okay. Well, I had enough of that. But I'm definitely taking that with me. I like that it'll tell you now, um, like what items are in something before you go and pick them all up. Makes life uh, a lot easier. What I'm not sold on, though. What happened here? Where is is giving you your your character his own voice. Or her own voice, I'm assuming. Is this all that's left? Uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like it it makes it feel less like it's your own character. I remember when uh, they released The Stick of Truth last year. I remember listening to an uh, interview with the South Park creators and the creators of the game. Oh, right, gun. And they said that uh, they didn't like it when they felt... Nice. Coming back later for you. Oh, lame. You can't, you can't open it. I, wish, I wonder if there's a way in this terminal to open it. But anyway, they said in the game they didn't like how uh, when characters would talk for you in an RPG, and I kind of am the same way. Supplies. Mutiny. A faction. They screw yourself, turn on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I do not want to open the door to the irradiated death. Out there! I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. Well, sad day for this guy. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get to seeing the big wasteland. Oh, I can target enemies and bats? Nice. I remember when you got your Pip Boy in the previous games, it was like a big deal. Here it's just like, ah, oh, pick it up. Off a dead guy. Holy crap, it's got a 64K RAM? Oh my god. Advanced. Okay, so it's very similar. Lots of ocean in this map. I wonder if we can travel on it somehow. I wonder how the irradiated oceans are doing. That would be a trip, right? Trying to build a ship going across the ocean to Europe. Recolonizing Europe. Or, sorry, reverse colonizing would probably be a, a, a better way to think about it. Anything else? 
else around here. Oh, I'm waiting for the door to open. Oh, ammo. But I have noticed in these early moments, the gunplay has significantly been improved. It feels much better. The guns actually have like a kickback. Like in the, I remember in like Fallout 3 in New Vegas, it, it never really felt like your guns were real guns, I guess. But now, I don't know, it certainly has more weight to it. Oh, the guns actually kick back too.